Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my Madden and franchise of the Denver Broncos. This is episode 6, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist in my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell to be basically told whenever we come out with a new video. And if you like what you see by the end of this, click that thumbs up button, leave any comments below, tell me that you want to see more of this. And uh, my goal for this video is to have at least 3-5 to five likes. And uh, here we are for this week 6 game against the Rams. Uh, they're four and one right now. Uh, I believe they're such a better team than me. I just got away with a lot of luck as as uh, with this regular five and zero. Oh. Um, but yeah, here we are. We're gonna be facing them in uh, in Denver in Mile High. So I'll see you guys there. The block. That's a good first down for Teddy and the boys. Oh, what a catch by Emmanuel Sanders for the first. The block, the block. There you go for the first. That's a good rushing here. Okay, okay. Oh, Bridgewater's running for it, and oh my gosh, a fumble, really? Ooh, shook him out of his shoes for that first down. That is Emmanuel Sanders. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Oh boy, picked off. He was off balance the entire time. I thought I could sneak it in. Just remember, I don't have uh, an elite quarterback. Ooh, what a pick! That's a pick by Chris Harris Jr. getting the ball back. That's his third interception of the season. And yeah, we got better. Uh, you actually have better field position than before. So let's see if we can run with this. Alright, whatever. Let's we'll start for this field goal. Better than nothing. Wish I got the touchdown, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Let's stop this pass. Let's stop this pass. Oh my gosh, I missed a sack. What the? Oh my gosh. Uh, run from the 20 yard 29 yard line. So this is a, about a 49 yard field goal, I believe. And it's good. With enough room to spare Zerlin. Knocks it down. No. Really, a safety? Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. That's the way you end the first half. Oh my gosh, that's a touchdown. And an injury to Derek Wolf. Oh no, that's a double whammy, man. He's going to be down. 12 to 3 here in the third quarter. We lost Derek Wolf to knows who knows what. Oh man. The you know, offense has been very lacking. Oh boy. Why is he zigzagging like that? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Just like that. It's probably game over. Probably game over. I haven't been scoring. We've been falling short when we do offense, so we really have to just. And he made two pockets. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction. Looking for Sanders, and it's intercepted. That's an interception. Basically, the game. 
Broncos are going to get blown out here. By the Rams, like I predicted, they're a strong team. What am I going to do? Okay. As I said, it was a blowout. We lost by 20. And uh, that's all I can really say about that, man. Not a good outing by the Broncos at all. And I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm just blaming Teddy Bridgewater, but listen, it was not a good outing overall for the Broncos. Too many takeaways. Rushing, our, our rushing game is non-existent, basically. Uh, we end up getting a first loss of the season. We're now five and one. Uh, the Rams moved to five and one as well. And uh, yeah, no bueno, man. Not good. Not good at all. But I'm happy that Casey Keenum's back. And oh man, that was just not a good look. Not a good look for us. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I feel, I feel like we've lost so much between last year and this year. Losing Akib. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like the Broncos lost a lot. Lost a lot, definitely. Uh, so you're going to start the back up here. Okay, so next time we'll be facing the 2 and 4 Cardinals. We're gonna have Case Keenum return at the QB spot, so I'm okay with that. Hopefully, he can turn things around for us. Uh, I don't remember what his actual uh, stats were before he got injured. I don't remember at all. Uh, it's been a while, so let's take a look at it here. The stats. Okay, so this year he had two interceptions, one. Well, one interception, two touchdowns, uh, 24, 54 passing yards, longest pass of 69 yards, 64% pass completion. Okay. All right. So I think this is definitely going to be a big improvement for us. Uh, let's see if I can finally re-sign uh, Peko here. And he wants a bigger bonus. How much bonus do you want, bro? All right, let's do a three million bonus for one year. Uh, let's do three mil, okay? Knock it off. Alright, there you go, we got to assign him, and all these people I think they can go. So yeah, the next game we're going to be playing is against the Cardinals, they're 2-4 and four, as I said, um, we're 5-1, and one. still looking to improve here and find our identity as a team, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my franchise with the Denver Broncos, again if you like what you saw, click the thumbs up button, leave any comments below, and I'll see you guys later, take it easy, and peace.